From here, I want you to make sure you take a look at the steps um, because when we go to actually hoop the tote bag, you're gonna think something's wrong um, just because of the way the bunny is positioned and that sort of thing. So I want you to pay close attention to hooping to make sure that everything gets right side up or upside down like it's supposed to be. So if you notice on step three, when we're laying the bag on, you can see this is where the hoop attaches here in the picture. And so it's still laying that same direction and the handle of the bag is off to the right. The short side and the handle are off to the right. When you look at your machine, your design should be pulled up so that it's facing this direction. So just keep that in mind when you're getting ready to hoop. Now, I'm gonna show you two different methods for hooping the fabric onto the different style hoops. Um, one is using the crosshair provided by Kimberbell, and one is using the fold lines that you've created as well as the registration marks on your hoop um, and skipping the crosshair step. It's completely up to you. I'm gonna do the first bunny one way and the second bunny the other way. So I will show you both ways throughout the process. So now that I have my hoop ready with the stabilizer in it, whether I have a metal hoop or a standard hoop, they all have hoop markings so that I know where the center of my hoop is. I'm gonna go ahead, I've created my center by creating the folds here. So I'm gonna skip the step where I stitch the crosshair right onto my stabilizer for this first hooping, and I'm gonna show you how to do it without that. You're still gonna take your folds and line them up with the marking on the hoop. This one on the horizontal and this one on the vertical. And then you're gonna open it up and you're gonna make sure that it matches here at the top as well. Kind of stick that in place lightly, open it up one more time, and make sure that crease line lines up with that registration point on the top of the hoop. From there, I can smooth everything out nicely and make sure it's sticking in place. Then with the magnetic hoop, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna secure this with my magnets. If you have a magnetic hoop, they come with four of these super strong magnets. If you decide you want additional magnets, you can purchase sets of those as well. I always like a few extra magnets on everything. It always makes me feel a little extra safe. So I'm stuck down to my sticky and I've also used my magnets to make sure everything's gonna stay in place nice and neat. You also have the option, um, maybe if you're not using the magnetic hoop, that you could use your baste function and you could baste around the design to keep this from shifting or moving. And even with the magnetic hoop, if you choose to, you can use that baste function. So now we're gonna go to the machine and we're gonna stitch outside one.